Hey, so in this video, I just want to show you a few things that I have um, implemented to get 100% 100 uh, 100 accessibility score on Google Lighthouse. So this website here is a website that I designed and developed that is for a, um, a voice actor. So the problem with this site is the problem that we're trying to solve with this site is how do you portray someone's voice in a visual context? So websites are visual, um, but this person's selling point is their voice. <clears throat> so what we did is we included their voice into the, the project. And now there's a really simple way of doing this. We could have created a hero section um, with image, text, and then underneath we could have had an embedded um, sound, you could have had embedded sound and it would have been just play buttons and really straightforward, but we were a bit more creative with this. So when the user hovers on this, on the images, there's this play button. So straight away, we're triggering that intention for someone to play this button and, and we're kind of generating their interest. So when you play, click play. Hi, very nice to see you. Click pause. It stops and we come down here the same interaction happens to new so what does voice all this piece approval seeking? and so on and so forth and we keep going down now this is beautiful it's very engaging it um hope it will stimulate the user visually to try and click the button and it's a unique way of doing it so that we can try and encourage the website user to take action and um, listen to this particular person's voice. But the thing is that we come up with a problem is that we've, to, to make this accessible, we need to think of the person who is hard of seeing and not able, and that would need like a website reader. And what a website reader does is that it starts up here and starts reading through everything would start saying that this is a heading, this is art, can't be in Voice Ireland, and would say that this is a link, and this is a button, and then we're down here. And what we need to do is we need to tell the person that this is a button that they need to click, and when they click it, they're going to hear art's voice. Now, and, and this is how I got the, the score up to 100. So when we go into the back end of the site here and we find we'll go in here and we're going to go down and we find the piece of custom code that we've added what I've had to do is to make sure that this website is accessible so first thing I needed to do is in Webflow we do not have buttons we've got links so what a link does is a link links you between pages on the site a button when you click a button, does a, something, it takes an action. So they're, they're very different, even though they look the same and can act the same, they are different. So we had to change the link to a button. And so that's by changing its role here. So now when the reader, when Google and a, a, a website reader reads this, they don't think that they're going to another part of the page. They think that this is a button and when, uh, when this action is taken, the button will do something on the site. Now, what is it that we need the button to do? So that, that's when we needed to add in this area label. So when uh, the reader e uh, Google or the e-reader reads this, it's going to see that this link is now changed to a class of a button. And what is the function of this link? Is that it when you click this you will click click to listen to voice clip one by art campion so when somebody needs this and is unable to see uh, the visual stimulation that we've created the read the e-reader uh, the website reader will tell them what they need to do the other thing that i did in this instance was i've created a hidden class of text here which again can be seen will be seen in the html and css 
and a reader will be able to see it. So adding, changing the link to a button and adding in an ARIA label and adding in a heading, um, a missing, uh, a hidden piece of text that explains what's going on, increased the accessibility of the site um, and brought it up to, helped bring it up to 100. Um, so, and yep, that's, that's basically it. And if you see here, when we click in to the HTML, bring it over here, you can see that this link is a button and inside we've got the area label that is telling us what to do and you can see the span there saying again click to listen and this is the same throughout each of these the link is now a button and the area label listen to the voice clip and so on and so forth okay so i hope that helps um yeah gives a bit more detail into how i develop sites good stuff